Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Eliza and welcome back to Anti-Material Energy. In the last episode, we made uh, a little bit of, of a uh, change to our mob spawner. Uh, so our manual, ki manual kill mob farm, um, which is to get skulls with our cleaver. Um, we changed this to be uh, sky biome, so F3. It says sky, so endermen spawn here and only endermen, uh, which is why I have that open. And uh, I've been collecting their skulls, uh, so I have all four Enderman heads. Uh, we will deal with that in a little bit. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? We made the Ring of Binding and the Bader Fairies uh, from Aura Cascade, which uh, the purpose of those was to get more animals. So uh, one of the problems we had was we only had one cow. Well, as you can see, I have a bunch of cows. Um, we're going to be breeding these guys and uh, making more cows so that we can hopefully get the cow pet too. Uh, we might have enough that we could kill them, but uh, we'll do that later as well. Uh, there's a couple other things that I wanna do, but I wanna talk about this ring of uh, this uh, Bader Fairy, uh, which basically it randomly spawns passive mobs. So uh, one of the hard pets that we're gonna have to deal with is the Ocelot pet. Um, I have no idea how to acquire this in uh, this mod pack. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This mod pack is kind of rough um, and not finished at all. Um, so I don't know if there will be any way to get uh, an ocelot uh, to begin with, let alone get enough to get all the skulls that we need uh, to make the ocelot pet. Uh, so originally I had thought okay we have this ring of binding um, that we can add the Bader fairies to uh, I'm not wearing it because there's no need to anymore um, the, what, I, what I'm basically getting at is I had hoped that the Bader fairies would randomly spawn in ocelots as well uh, it turns out that is not the case uh, so aura cascade is actually open source uh, so you can go look at the code, and that's what I did. Um, I specifically found the code for the uh, Bader Fairies, and turns out they spawn only four different passive mobs. Uh, chickens, pigs, cows, and sheep. Uh, and it is 100% completely random, but um, that's all it ever spawns. So we're never going to get an ocelot from it, so there's no purpose in kind of trying to get one or wearing it and spawning mobs. Uh, it also has a really bad habit. I don't know why, but it has a really bad habit of spawning things in the ground. Um, I killed many of animals walking around, kind of waiting around, looking around, and accidentally spawning stuff in the ground. It was not good. Um, it was kind of, kind of funny though. Uh, so that is that. Uh, so where do we want to start today? I think first thing I want to do is let's grab some pretty blocks. Uh, what is? Oh, no, we can't do that, can we? Uh-oh. Um, hmm. So, that's a problem. All right. Uh, so, I was going to say, let's make some... Okay, we can make ink sacks really easily. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say, let's see if we can't spawn some squid in. I realize we can make carbon black and ink sacks uh, fairly simply. So, carbon black... Uh, which comes from uh, black wool as well as like rays and all that kind of stuff uh, we should be able to get that pretty easily uh, do we have we have our shears on us so let's go ahead and shear some sheepies uh, and hmm we might need to make some carbon black carbon black is actually really easy to make anyways uh, we can also get it from gray dyes, so we should be able to get from, yeah, gray, gray wool and light gray wool. There is a cow in here. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to shear the cow, but, uh, we will, we'll deal with him in a little bit. So, both the grays are down here. Uh, this sheep farm was a little bit of a mistake, uh, just because the water idea was never going to work. Um, but it's not a bad thing. Uh, it's just kind of annoying to deal with this. Uh, but whatever. Uh, it's, it's done. Uh, we're not going to worry about it. So, 
All right, we have some stuff that we can potentially get some carbon black from uh, without having to actually like make it. We can get our first cow head as well. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and decompose this stuff. There's three carbon blacks and there's a bunch of carbon blacks. Perfect. Um, actually keep those in there. We're gonna need four of these guys and we will make ink sacks and four ink sacks. Perfect, perfect. Uh, so what we can go ahead and start doing is let's continue making pets. Um, and then the big thing that I wanna to do today is I want to automate this process, um, which is gonna revolve, revolve around making uh, formation planes and setting up a uh, plant energistic system. Uh, we also need to do similar things for uh, cobblestone because uh, we're gonna need a lot of singularities. We'll get to that later, but uh, we're gonna need a lot of singularities. What is this used for? Dying machine, biome capsules, biome painters. Uh, okay. Uh, so anyways, we need purple, violet aura, uh, which these guys have. And let's just get this set up. And we'll come back to this in a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, can we go ahead and make the Enderman pet? So we need the tormented Enderman heads, which requires solarium and basic ambassadors and water bottles. Uh, that should be pretty easy, I, I hope. Um, we need basic capacitors. We have two if we want more. We're gonna need silicate and titanium. That is the only recipe, right? Yes. So, uh, silicate is relatively simple. Uh, let's silicate. Uh, let's see, it's SO4. So, let's get like four stacks. Let's make a stack of this stuff. And we have silicon dioxide. Um, I mean, that's close, but not enough oxygen. So we need silicon and we can get a stack right here. I said a stack. All right, I can never remember sometimes uh, shift clicking versus uh, not shift clicking. So one, how do we make this? Oh, right, duh, I know how this works. All right, so there is a stack of silicate. And then we're gonna need a bunch of titanium. Uh, titanium, let's just grab a stack of that. And there's eight. So that should be just a bunch of capacitors. Perfect. Uh, so with that, we're gonna need four of these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest. We need to start storing things in here. Um, and we need we need to do a lot of stuff. We need to do a lot of work. We can automate this process with a interface and all that kind of stuff. But like this thing is gonna get changed um, relatively soon. So that's good. Uh, so what do we need? We need solarium uh, water bottles. Do we have any solarium? Not in there. Uh, so we have the solarium. We need eight of these. And then we need bottles or glass. We can just take some glass. And we just need eight of these guys filled up with water. Um, and slice and splice. So this, we just get that uh, taken care of. Uh, we'll have the tormented Enderman heads and that'll be that. So are these guys still going? Uh, how are we doing? It needs more violet. Let's get more violet. We have a little bit. One, two. Uh, what was the, the catch with Violet again? I don't remember. Let's add even more there. 
Yeah, because this one does not have much violet. So, more violet. Uh, isn't it like oscillating or it goes down if it's too high or something like that? I don't remember. Anyways, we can continue making the tormented Enderman heads. And that'll be uh, the Enderman. So, uh, the next thing that I want to work on, uh, we do need to deal with power a little bit. Um, but that's a little bit less of a concern. Uh, with the discovery of the red fruit charcoal being super duper cheap and super duper awesome, uh, we don't really need to worry about that all that much right now. Um, I do want to set up the compact machines at some point, um, but right now it's not super big concern. Uh, so what we're going to want to do, let's go ahead, I think we're going to want another furnace generator. Uh, which I believe the system knows how to make over here. Uh, we'll grab some charcoal as well. So we can get a furnace generator. And red fruit charcoal. Um, you know, let's just fill up our inventory with that. And what we're going to do, we're going to want... Uh, let's see, I guess we'll put this in here. We'll take a stack. Um, we're gonna need a little bit of machinery. So we're gonna want some formation planes. Now we don't have any in there. Uh, do we have any here? We have annihilation planes, not formation planes. Um, we can take an ME chest, that'll work. Uh, energy acceptor, we're gonna need that. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're probably gonna need to make another uh, energy acceptor at some point, but uh, or a controller, either one works. Uh, we're gonna want some cable, probably. We're gonna want more cable than this, so we're gonna need to make some stuff. Um, so we're gonna need formation planes, these are formation cores with iron and fluids crystals. Um, so do we have many flukes crystals? Aren't those a pain to make? Um, because we should be able to make this in world with uh, surges quartz, nether quartz, and redstone. Surges quartz doesn't have an energy value. That's right, and these things are a pain to make. Um because it's aluminum phosphate and it's a couple of steps. So do we have, uh, no, we don't have any Surtis Quartz in here. Um, how many cores? None? Ugh. Did we make a bunch? No, I made a bunch of Nether Quartz. I do have one formation core. Uh, so you know what, let's hold off on that for right now. Um, for right now, let's just go ahead and um, how do we want to do this? I guess an item duct, item conduit, whatever. Do we have any filters? No, filters should be easy enough. So we're not going to automate the aura cascade yet. Uh, we're going to need to kind of make some other things first. So paper. Uh, should be easy enough. I guess let's go ahead and harvest all this. Uh, while we're over here, let's see if we can't uh, deal with the cows some more. Uh, I realize, don't be, okay, it's not done. Uh, we don't have any more wheat in there. So mm. let's read two and then Let's see, there's one more head. There's three heads. Four heads. Perfect. Um, so we don't have to do anything with the cows anymore. Uh, so let's put this away. Let's get some paper. Uh, we're going to need a chest. We're going to need a hopper. Uh, do we have... Make a chest. 
and we really need to do a lot of work. Oh boy, uh, I'm really realizing that getting uh, access to like auto crafting would be really nice and like setting up some sort of automation, especially with this guy, the chemical synthesizer. Uh, how bad is to make those? Uh, so chemical synthesizers are uh, require the atomic manipulator, a bunch of iron diamonds, uh, double layer capacitor, which we can do, um, laboratory panels, well resizing cubes, which requires just a bunch of these, which requires a bunch of pistons, and okay. Um, so is any of this exchangeable? No, of course not. Uh, so. If we make a handful of those, we can set up a system to kind of deal with that. Uh, so that wouldn't be a bad idea. What is taking... Oh, I realize I probably ran out of... Uh, oomph. Um, pumps. It is close, though. So let's go ahead. Set this back up. And... I always break close stone. All right, so that should be relatively soon. Um, so what we also need to do, and I'll get to this. So the thing that we're going to be needing to make here soon is the fusion chamber, uh, the fusion walls. And uh, even if it's fission, I do believe it requires, well, f uh, fusion walls as well. Uh, there is nothing special. So fusion walls require a good bit of barrel, which we can get... Uh, fairly easily from emeralds uh, actually really nice we can get emeralds very easily from EMC uh, so that's not a big deal um, but we're gonna need tungsten plating which is a lot of tungsten double layer capacitors uh, tungsten we can get from uh, netherrack as well as it looks like manulin nether infused paracel okay so, I mean, there, there's some choices. Um, either, easiest is probably going to be nether rack, uh, which we can make, and then we can make a bunch of it. Um, we can duplicate it, and it'll be fine. So, uh, this is almost done. And there's the squiddy pet. So, we're going to immediately switch over to the tormented enderman. And that one's going to take a while. Uh, that's 500,000. You know, can I remove? I can. All right. So the cow pet, that's a lot easier. And it's any. So this one will go pretty quickly. Uh, then we'll put the intermin up and we'll probably have to uh, call the episode at that point. But we have the, we have the squiddy. Uh, we'll get the reward bag. Uh, now, is the squiddy used for... No, nothing. Um, so the purple cow is the one that's for the passive mobs, and it is the pig, cow, sheep, and ocelot, So, uh, which I think I'm storing here. So once we have the cow, we put it there. But uh, Mr. Squiddy, who does what? I don't even know what he does. Water breathing, underwater vision, uh, swim boost, and sink. Uh, which is kind of cool. He gets to be put in here. And then we got a good reward bag, so that's blocks. Uh, that chest is getting very full. Anyways, uh, let's put that away. Uh, we shouldn't need that right now. Okay. So, what was I saying? Um, yeah, there is... What was I saying? What was I talking about? I completely forgot. Anyways, there's a lot of things that we need to do uh, to get auto crafting. Oh, right, the fusion chamber, the fusion walls. Um, the hard part with this, and what we're going to kind of struggle with, is the quantum entangled singularities. So drop a singularity and an inner dust and cause an explosion, and you'll get two of these. Um, now, in order to make singularities, we've seen that before. We've made one, two. Um, these guys have no exchange energy, so they're going to be kind of awful to make. Um, we need a lot of cobblestone. So, what we're going to do is we're going to set up this guy. And, um, 
the more Annihilation Planes we have, the better off we'll be with this. Uh, but for right now, just a few is fine. Uh, we can go ahead and grab... Uh, we can go ahead and grab uh, the other planes, which I think are in here. Yeah, Annihilation Planes. Um, so we can grab those and grab some more cables if we need to. Uh, these will go on so like these. So let's let's rearrange this a little bit. Uh, this does not have any storage either, so we're gonna have to be mindful of that. But lava is in this center column, so those two and these two are the blocks to break. Um, so let's make a little bit of like a, a staircase. Slash platform. And this will be fine. So uh, we'll put some cables like so. And like so. And what do we need? We need something like this. Uh, we're gonna put an Emmy chest here. Um, we need an energy acceptor. And then we're gonna need power, which we should be able to just put this like so. Fill this guy up. And yeah, this guy is already on. Um, this guy is gonna charge up, which is nice. We don't have to worry about it. And then we'll put the um let's actually move this guy to be like here and then we can put the other thing um somewhere back here so we'll need to just hook that up and these are online but there's no storage, so there's no place for it to go. Um, and then we want the matter condenser. We're gonna want, uh, let's see, we're gonna want a storage cell of some sort. Uh, which, by the way, is the cow done? I think the cow might be done. All right, let's, uh, uh-oh, okay, it's there. Good, um, perfect. So let's go ahead and set this back up and get the Enderman, whoops. The Enderman going again. Uh, get more power. Uh, having this automated would be really nice, uh, but we'll worry about that later. Like I said, that's gonna be a little bit more uh, complicated because we need to make formation planes and those are kind of annoying right now. Uh, the big thing that we're going to want to like kind of deal with is is being able to get all this stuff um, in mass quantities. Uh, so we're going to set up some infrastructure. We'll probably do that next time. But anyways, uh, we need just some sort of storage drive. Uh, a 4K would be more than enough. Um, so... Can we make one of these? No, we need Certus. Of course we do. Um, is there any way? We also need the glass. Uh, so I don't have, we have plenty of quartz glass. We can not make more of that without uh, some things, but all right, so if we want, we have the 64K, I mean, we could make a 64K storage drive, but then we can't make uh, the singularities. Uh, we have 
We have a 1k here. But this guy is full, and honestly, I'd rather... We're going to want to make a lot more stuff sooner rather than later. So, aluminum. Let's take a stack of aluminum and phosphate. Um, we can get this pretty easily. Uh, aluminum phosphate is what we need for the surgis quartz. Uh, just give me normal surgis quartz. Is there any way we can, like, cheese this? Um, I don't think so. So, aluminum, phosphate, and power is actually a little bit of an issue. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. Um, but this should be enough for at least a basic storage component. And we don't really need that much. Um, the cow needs to go over there, by the way. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do two things. So first of all, um, we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And now this is going to start making stuff. Um, now we can also, if we wanted to store fruit charcoal in there, that would be fine. But then we can put the matter condenser down. And theoretically, we could do something like this. So we have an input, extract with a filter, cobblestone, uh, always active. And does that work? Does it have to be... Like so. Hmm. Okay. Um, alternatively... So if that doesn't work, then the other option is an export bus. So that's what we can do. Uh... We don't need the cow pet anymore. Export bus. Uh, this is a formation core and a piston. Uh, we have a single formation core. So let's go ahead and make that. And we don't need the chest in there or the filter. So uh, let's grab some more cable. And uh, this only holds so many channels, but it should be fine. So we're going to want the import bus. And import or export cobblestone. And that is incredibly slow, but um, it is working. So the next step is to upgrade it into a little bit faster. Um, in order to do that, we're going to need speed upgrades. Uh, and speed upgrades are kind of out of our league right now. Um, oh, what are they actually called? Um, card. Acceleration cards. That's what they're called. Um, so they require flux crystals and advanced things, which do we have any calculation processors? No. No, so that's something that we'll have to wait on. Uh, so that's something we can work towards. Uh, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is call the episode here. And uh, what the plan is going to be is I am going to um, basically get a bunch of things together. Um, probably make a bunch of surges quartz uh, so that we can start setting up some auto crafting. Uh, I'd like to clean up all of our applied logistics stuff a little bit. Uh, and then we'll also go ahead and set up a cool little system to provide power. Uh, I think that'll be good. Uh, the big thing with power though is this guy is prohibiting us from um, storing much more than 5 million RF. Uh, if we want more, we need to make more of them or we need to make octatic capacitors, which are not fun. 
uh, because they require glowstone shards and a ton of double up, double layer. Uh, so there's there's some considerations to make, um, but this system will now work um, basically until this guy runs out of power, which is not going to happen anytime soon. And this is just going to um, pretty consistently store up cobblestone. So. Uh, that is the plan we're going to work towards uh, automating applied energistics fully and getting some auto crafting and all that kind of fun stuff and then going from there so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, we didn't get that much done but we're we're starting to make progress um, I still didn't leave the cow over here uh, so yeah I'm gonna let this finish as well uh, and then we need to figure out how to get the last of the pets um, yeah this is gonna take a while in fact, one of them is close to being stopped. So I'm going to babysit this as well as getting prepped, and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!